another haul video for this haul video we're gonna be doing books as you all know in my birthday haul there was so many books it's my birthday technically yeah it is my birthday right now it's like almost five and up 4 30 um but yeah we're gonna be doing a book haul so that's why i'm here now and i have three six nine twelve thirteen 13 to 14 books. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So what I got from my mom, we went to the mall. Actually, what I start, what should I start at first is the ones that my dad bought me. Um, these were before. I bought these. These are technically Christmas because I bought these with um, bought these with like my cat shoes, and all of that are um, the three series, three out of the 4,000 series of Rand High School House Club, book one, two, and three. I am currently on book one, and I'm almost done with it, which I should probably read. Um, I, my dad got these for like like $4 off of Thrift Books, which is a very good website if you want to buy cheap books and not have to buy them for like 25 at Barnes & Noble or 10 or, or something like that. Uh, it's, you get really good prices for all kinds of books, and I love these so much. These are technically Christmas books. Um, what I used for my Christmas money, actually. So, yeah. Hold on, let me take off the stickers. Um, but I've always wanted freaking a Rand High School Host Club. And then on Monday, on Monday, my dad, he got me for my birthday, um, Corpse Party books. He only got me the second one, though. He's tr still trying to find the first one. I, or I could have bought the first one if I wanted to at the mall with my mom. But he was getting them anyways. And then, and then with, um, I got a Target gift card for Christmas as well, and I bought the, what does it say, the Twisted Ones, Five Nights at Freddy's book, Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, and just a fun little stupid book, Five Nights at Freddy's, a survival kit, um, they were all 20% off, so I got, like, they're, like, six, six to seven dollars, and I had, like, twenty-five dollars on the gift cards, um, and then... And then what what my mom got me was first fairy tale book of the series, which I haven't watched fairy tale in so long, but like I feel like I should start watching it again. Or they didn't really they didn't really have much of a selection. And I also got Fate Zero, of which I've seen I've seen um, Fate um, the Ultimate Blade Works. Um, so I have to watch, I'm currently watching this on Netflix right now. Uh, if, if I watched Fairy Tale, I would write stories about it, and I would like to not write stories about anything right now. And then what my aunt and uncle got me is the Pokemon Movie Companion book, which I have the second one of the just the visual companion, which talks about, like, the people and all that. This talks about all the movies that were made, which is really, really cool. And I will be making videos for my second channel about that. And then what my dad, when I just came back from Target and my and my grandpa's house, my other grandpa's house. Um, we got. I have four other books. I have the first book in the series, The Silver Eyes, which I will probably read actually because I really want to. And then I might finish reading the first book of Ryan High School's Club. Um, so I have the first book and the second book of that. And then I have. Um, a horror book called The Third Twin, which these two identical twins made up a third sister called Alicia. Um, and if anybody did something wrong, they would always blame it on Alicia. Alicia. Um, the girls are seniors, and these Alicias are covered to go out with guys who they never be ever be in real life. But some games just aren't worth playing. A boy has turned up dead, and DNA evidence, surveillance photos, they only suspect Alicia, the girl who doesn't exist. Identical twins, identical DNA, identical suspects. Ava insists that they keep following the rules and being Alicia it will be, for being Alicia, and everything will be fine. But Lexi isn't so sure. She must find the truth for, uh, before another boy is murdered, because either Ava is a killer or Alicia is, Alicia is real. Which sounds like a good horror book. I, I like horror books, so that's why I got it. Um, oh shit, can I even get this off without damaging? I don't, I don't think I can get Oh, there we go. Um, and then we have Survive the Night, which it says... Huh. 
There's also two other books by this author. Um, it says, just back from rehab, Casey regrets letting her friends Shauna, Julie, and Aya talk into her coming to survive the night. An all night... An all-night underground rave in New York City subway tunnel, surrounded by frightening drugs and menacing strangers. Casey doesn't think she'll survive. Think survive the night could get any worse. Up until, until she comes across Julie's mutilated body in a dank black subway tunnel, red-eyed rats nibbling at her fingers. Casey thought she was just, was just off with some guy, and no one could hear her getting torn apart over the pulsing music. And by the time they get back to the party, everyone is gone. Desperate for help, Casey and her friends find themselves running through a putrid. Putrid subway tunnel searching for a way out, but everyone, but every manhole is sealed shut and every noise echoes eerily in the dark, remaining that you're not alone and you're beaten, they're being haunted. Trapped underground with someone or something out to get him, Casey can't help but listen to Aya's terrifying refrain, we're all gonna die down here. So I li I'm a big fan of like horror books. If you haven't seen my other um, book haul slash review, uh, the book that I did on there called Asylum, um, which I was supposed to get some other series of the books written by the person who wrote that book but i just think horror books are amazing and then i got this one called suicide notes from beautiful girls um which i thought was cool not cool but i thought it's a good book um they say delia burned herself to death in a stepfather's shed but they say it was a suicide but julie but june doesn't believe it june and delia what used to be best friends in a way that comes before anyone else it was like being an ex Except more. It's like being in love, except more. They had an infinite number of secrets, tying them together like a silk cord. But one night, a year ago, everything changed Julia. Delia and June's boy- June, Delia, and June's boyfriend, Ryan. They were just having a little fun. The good time got out of hand in the cold blue light morning. June knew on this only things could never be the same. Now Delia's dead, and June owns it up to her to find the truth, which far was more complicated than you could ever imagine. So I thought that this sounded like a good book to read, um and all that and then a book i have from a book i have from school which is called the dark hills divide which is the land of avalon book one um it's a like a which i'm almost done with actually i'm kind of like halfway through so i might read this one later too if i finish it so i got a reading i got lots of books to read on and lots of time on my hands um i have to figure out where these go on my bookshelf actually because i have no idea where i'm going to put these but I hope you all enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Also, bell to notify videos, which is daily. And I love you guys, and I hope you get something from these books. If you want to get some of these books yourself, go to Target or go to uh, Barnes & Noble. They're really cheap there. Some of them are 20% off, so you'll get them really cheap. Um, and, yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye.